Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickory Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share just a brief message with you from the Word of God. In our last lesson, we talked about fellowship, and I mentioned uh, the fact that when some hear the word fellowship, it's as if that they can smell the coffee and taste the donuts, but that, yet that's not how the word is used within the New Testament itself. It denotes a sharing together, really our worship and service together as Christians, and that's how the word itself is used. It has a spiritual connection, and not that which would be a social meal or a social gathering. But you also realize that the work of the church is not to build and maintain facilities to eat in or to play in. It's not the work of the church to provide for, uh, to have uh, softball uh, teams or basketball teams or, or any such uh, thing as that. If we're going to speak where the Bible speaks and be silent where the Bible is silent, which is really taught in 1 Peter uh, 4, verses 11, he said, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God then certainly I need to find the verse that would authorize the church to provide social meals or social functions or recreation uh, for, for all the members. And But yet we can't find that uh, within the Bible itself. Uh, it, it's not that I'm against uh, recreation. I, I'm not against sports. And, and I'm not against uh, social gatherings. You know, even in 1 Corinthians 11, where the church came together to, to partake of the Lord's Supper, and there was the abuse of the Lord's Supper, he asked the question, Paul did, he said, what do you not have houses to eat and drink in? You know, we have houses to eat and drink in, to provide social meals for, for one another, and we're the ones that are to provide uh, recreation for our children. Uh, but it, it's not the work of the church to do that. You know, there are three areas of work that obviously I, I can see, at least, that the church was to involve itself in. The church is described as the pillar and the ground of the truth in First Thessalon or in First Timothy three and verses fifteen, and so it really should spend its resources on teaching and preaching the truth, sharing the gospel, trying to evangelize the world. You know, not only does the church provide support for me so that I can preach and teach, but we supply support for other preachers. Uh, in other parts of the world as well, so that the gospel can be shared with those that are lost and those that are in sin. And also it should uh, provide for the spiritual growth and development, the building up of its own saints in Ephesians 4, verses 11 and 16. And then certainly funds were collected, and part of the reasons that they were collected was to provide for the needy saints in 1 Corinthians 16, and verses 1. And so the church has a responsibility to take care of its own needy. So now there are three areas of work that we can see that the church is to involve itself in. That's to evangelize, to preach and teach the gospel, to edify itself in love, and also to provide for its own needy. Outside of that, then you would get outside of the scriptures. I hope this lesson has been of some benefit to you. I hope that you'll think soberly and seriously about it. And I really appreciate you listening. Thank you so much.